tocó y hoy por la tarde en una reunión igual eh, mi internet o será el sistema ah, está teniendo problemas con conexión entonces o será la aplicación no sé ajá sí he tenido, estoy teniendo problemas a saber, porque hoy por la tarde estuve en Teams y me costó ingresar en esa plataforma. Me sacaba cada ratito y ahorita me acaba de dar ese problema aquí en Zoom. Quizás es mi internet. Dice, bueno, a mí me costó entrar, pero no fue mucho. Pero ahorita estoy aquí, no sé si me escuchan algo. Sí, 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 te escuchamos, <risa> pero... Ajá, sí. Pero se queda como congelada la, la pantalla. A ver si estoy teniendo problemas, quizás también yo. Sí, Good, evening. Me ocupar, bueno. Good evening. Good evening. Ajá. Ok. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening. So, so, teacher. So, so, not bad. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What about the others? How are you? Very good, come very well, teacher. Wow, I like that expression. I remember, <laughs> I remember I had a friend in La Unión and he used to say it could be better. Eso solía decir. So when I asked him, hey, how are you, Fabrice? So he said, ah, it could be better. Do you, do you know what it could be better is? ¿Saben qué es eso? It could be better. ¿Cómo se Podría ser mejor. Podría estar mejor. It's like, I'm okay, but I could be better. Como que estoy bien, pero podría estar mejor. Siempre respondía eso. Él es de, él es de Togo. He is from Togo. Africa. Togo es África. África, yeah, África. He is from Togo, África. Ah. <laughs> ¿Y qué hacía aquí en El Salvador? Good question. <laughs> ¿Alguna lancha lo dejó tirado ahí? Good question. No, I, I think uh, since he came here, I think he liked the country. Creo que a él le gustó el país desde que llegó. Ah, ok. Yes. Yo creo que el interés más grande era aprender español. Según, pero igual él trabajaba dando clases de francés, como la, el idioma na, este nativo de, de todo es francés, según entiendo. It's French. Uh -huh. Y se casó con una salvadoreña. Se una casó, pero realmente no, no, no he entrado en esa conversación con él últimamente si es salvadoreño, yo creo que no creo que no todo. tienen topado la procuraduría porque no solo vino a pegar bichos <risa> no, yo creo, que, yo creo que no yo creo que sí se trajo una muchacha de todo bueno, al menos morenita igual que él <risa> Está imagino bien. Que, que se la trajo de allá <risa> nada que la vecina de él era ahí en la unión Probably, I don't know. <laughs> Probably, most hey. likely. Yeah. So how was, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Hey, uh, about the topic, uh, how do you say buen provecho in English? That's a good question. Uh, last time I was discussing with some students at the university. Uh -huh. um, they asked me the same question. How do you say buen provecho in English? You can say enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Uh -huh. Y, y, y yo he escuchado good taste. ¿Aplica uh -huh. o no aplica? No, it's too literal. Creo que es muy literal. Too literal. Ah, ok. Ajá. Algunos dicen buen apetito, así como en French. Usan como, prestan la, la frase. Ok. Entonces, bueno, ¿se debería, debería decir? Yo diría, enjoy, you, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Disfruta tu comida. Enjoy your meal. Me Pero, al... Hablando de ese tema, en realidad, eh, yo, yo he visto algo. Yo he tenido contacto con muchos gringos. Con, con, con muchos gringos. Y me he fijado en algo que ellos nunca, no, dice. No, no, no usan el buen provecho. No, no, que ellos no lo comen y, ah, oh, let's eat, pero nunca dicen buen provecho. So it's not Loida, hola, hola. Vaya, hola. Ve hacia hola. adelante, Loida. Hola, Loida. Ay, qué vale, ya me voy a ir manejando. Espera un pedacito, ya voy a ir. Son los pocos. No, no, no se vaya, no mira mucho el teléfono, solo vaya de bien que ahorita entonces, Loida. 
Peligroso. Tengo el tema mal hábito de poner películas y manejar y si veo así no me preocupa, no me molesta mucho, pero porque estoy joven, ya cuando esté mayor ya no voy a poder hacerlo. You finish school late, right? Por ser el primer día. Bueno, los administrativos han estado asistiendo, ¿verdad? <ríe> a la escuela. Ah, sí, a veces. A veces, a veces tengo interrupción, pero no ya llevo, ya llevo. <ríe> Perfecto. Ok, uh, sí, hablando del tema de la, de, ya es hora, pero este tema es muy importante, de la, de, del buen provecho, que preguntaba Juan Carlos, creo que Juan Carlos, sí, ¿verdad, Juan Carlos? Sí, sí. Es que realmente los gringos, yo, en, al menos en el, el, hasta donde yo he logrado, no les he preguntado por qué no, pero yo lo que entiendo es que para ellos no es cultural decir buen provecho. Ajá. En El Salvador y en los... Es... Y en los países centroamericanos sí es, sí es cultural decir buen provecho cuando uno va a comer o si no se mira bien feo. Pero... Mal educado. O como que uno diga, thanks God for to eat. Algo así, no, tampoco, vea, no se dice. Could be, could be. Gringos no. almost never refer to God. Ah, okay. sí, sí, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, but, but, but anyway, it's, it's about culture. Es más cultural, it's about culture. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so um, so welcome everybody. Bienvenidos. Welcome. I hope you had a great weekend. Espero que hayan tenido un grandioso fin de semana. Hope you had a great weekend. Do you work on Sundays or you don't work on Sundays? Is your free day, your day off? Do you work? I don't work. You don't work on Sundays. I don't. Your day off. Loisa, no, right? No, no. I What don't work. You don't work. What about the others? Do you work on Sunday? Who works on Sunday? ¿Quién trabaja el, el, el domingo? Who works on Sunday? I I work in my house. In 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 my house. Ah, in your house. All right. So, what do you do in your house on Sunday? Plancha y lava. Ah. <laughs> Pega mi esposa y no lo hago. The cleaning, the washing. <laughs> Walking the dog, yeah, taking care of the children. <laughs> We are two, Amber. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, so let's start. Let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. Okay, so um, for today we have unit number three, right? We have unit number three today. And unit number three is where do you work? Where do you work? All right. So you say, hey, where do you work? And you say, oh, I work at a school. Hey, where do you work? I work at, I work in Siman, for example. Hey, where do you work? I work in Super Selectos, all right? Yeah. So where do you work? Yeah. All right, let's see Juan Carlos. Where do you work? Uh, in Plaza Merliot. Oh, you say, I work in Plaza Merliot. All right, thank you, Juan Carlos. Uh, let's see, Hazel, where do you work, Hazel? I work in Benserva. All right, perfect. Uh, let's see, Roxana, where do you work? I work in um, Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla, all right, perfect. Uh, you are supposed to say the name of the company. <laughs> All right, let's see Brenda. Brenda, where do you work, Brenda? I work in Farmedi Lab. All right, in a lab. All right, perfect. What about you, Luis Ricardo? Where do you work? Uh, I work in Farmedi Club. Oh, so you are colleagues. You are colleagues, yes. Are you colleagues, Luis and Brenda? Yeah. Yes. And yes, we. And Jefferson yeah. too. Yeah, Jeffrey. Yes, Jennifer. Jefferson. And Jefferson too, right? Okay, nice. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Jenny, uh, where do you work? No, sure. I work in uh, for Medi Lab. Oh my God. So you are all of you are colleagues. Yes. Four. Or we have one more. Or oh, else you must. Uh, we have five. Five. Who is the other? Uh, Luis Alejandro. 
Ah, Luis Alejandro, yeah, yeah, it's true, all right. So, that, eso quiere decir que en algún momento también van a, van a estar en la noche algunos, así, ¿verdad? Así como, ha estado, así como estuvo Luis Alejandro. Sí, así son los vivientes, porque van a estar trabajando. En mi caso, no. Nada. Oh, Brenda. Oh, Brenda. Ah, oh, Brenda es the boss. <laughs> so, Brenda is the boss. Only Jefferson and you work uh, with the... With... Night schedules. With night mm -hmm. schedules. Como exactly. <laughs> With night schedules, you say. Okay. Thank you very With much. Night schedules. Night schedules. All right. Let's see. Um, let me see. I didn't. Ah, Jesenia, where do you work? For Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. At a school, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing. All right. So in this moment, I will pass the attendance. Oh my God, I have only 15 people connected. All right, but I, I need to pass the attendance right now. Okay, let's see, Ana Abigail. She's not connected right now. Brenda Yanira? I'm here. All right, Edgar? I saw Edgar connected. Edgar, he was connected, right? Estaba conectado, me parece, he was connected. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, Amber? I'm here. Perfect. Okay, so Sarai. I'm here. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, but she's not connected. All right, Jefferson is yeah, he's connected. Jennifer. I'm here. Jessica. <clears throat> Jessica Lourdes. I saw Jessica connected. También acaba de ver conectada hace un momento. She was connected to. All right. Um, let's see, Juan Carlos. I'm here. All right. Eunice. I am here. Thank you, Luis Alejandro. He's not connected, right? Okay. Let's see, uh, Luis Alejandro is not connected, right? So like this. Luis Ricardo? I'm here. All right. I'm here. Okay. Maria Elena? I'm here. Cool. Nancy? Oh, Nancy is not connected. It's very weird. Nancy is also there. Nancy. No? En mi consulta tengo estable, dice. Nelson Gabriel. Nelson? Nelson te dijo que no es con internet. Oh, okay. Ya se va a conectar seguramente Roxana. Yes, sir. I'm here. All right, perfect. Wendy and Natalie. Natalie. Creo que se le congeló la cámara a Natalie también. I am here, teacher, pero es que... I am here. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, let's see, Yesenia. I am here, teacher. And finally, Jocelyn. I am here, teacher. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Let's let's continue. So, um, listen, teacher. Yeah. Oh, Elga. Okay. Yo estaba no, pero recibí una llamada. Entonces, como estoy desde el teléfono, pues. Es, cuando recibí la llamada, pues se me fue la conexión. Ok, perfecto. Sí, ahí puse el chequecito porque te vi conectado. Ahí estoy conectado. ¿En... ¿Quién está levantando la mano? Is raising hands. Ahí? Ah, Abigail. All right. Teacher, I am here. Tenía problemas de conexión ah, también. Yeah, ahí estoy conectado. También te vi conectada, Jessica. Sí. Yo también, teacher. Me sacó. Ok, it's ok, Natalie. It's ok. En la misilla. Sí. Es que no le había puesto. A Jacqueline, porque me dijo que tiene problemas de conexión. Ok, aquí lo voy a anotar. I will take notes. Teacher, también Nancy está enferma. Oh my God, poor Nancy. It's weird. Eso está diciendo que siempre está conectada. Es de las primeras en conectarse. Ok, um, what is your first name? Um, ¿Quién se estaba levantando? Abigail, what is your first name? ¿Cuál es tu primer nombre? What is your first name? Ana, Ana Abigail. Ok, Ana. what is your first name? 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. Okay, listen. Um, last last week we started um the present simple or the simple present, and we started uh statements or sentences, positive and negative statements, right? And we studied how to make questions, yeah? Good. Do you remember how to make questions in the present simple? Do you remember? How do you make a question in the simple present? What do we use? Using the auxiliary do or that. Exactly. So we do or that. Do or that. It depends on the pronoun, right? It depends on the subject. Depende del pronombre o del sujeto, yes? So you say, do you work in Siman? Do you work in any other business? Do I, do I work in Siman? Do they work in Siman? Do they? And do we? So for the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we say do. Or maybe in plural, right? Do the students, plural. Do the students. Do the students connect early? Okay, students is plural. Yeah, do. Now, when do we use does? When do we use does? When do we use does? Anybody? He, he, it. He, she, it. Or a name of a person in singular. Okay, it can be, it can be Abigail or Juan Carlos, right? You say, does Juan Carlos work in Simán? Because it's like he, como que digamos he, er. Or does Abigail work uh, in a laboratory? Does Abigail? Because it's like saying she, es como decir she, right? This is just to remember, solo para recordar, just to remember. But you, look, uh, in this moment, I want you to make two questions using do and two questions using does. Yeah? Van a ser dos preguntas usando do y dos preguntas usando does. You can use the vocabulary. Pueden usar el vocabulario que estudiamos la semana pasada. This vocabulary, look. So you can use this. Pueden usar esto. You can use this vocabulary, okay? So you can use, uh, for example, let me let me see here if I can expand this. Yeah, you can use create software, check email, check merchandise, repair computers, write reports, and so on. So you can say, for example, using do, um, do your colleagues in plural, do your colleagues create software, or do you receive money, or you can say using does, does your sister check email every day, or does um, your coworker or your colleague, does your colleague repair computers? Yes. So the idea in this moment is that, that you make two questions using do and two questions using does. All right? Go ahead. Adelante. On your notebook. En su cuaderno. On your notebook. All right? Go ahead. Two questions using do and two questions using does. All right? If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Si tienen preguntas, no duden en hacerlas. Don't hesitate to ask. All right, just repeating the instruction. Two questions using do and two questions using does. Four questions in total, right? Four questions in total. Me repiten los nombres de los que tenían problemas de conexión. Jacqueline, me dijeron quién más. Nelson, Nelson Navarrete. Nelson también. Jessica también. 
Jessica, but Jessica is connected right now. Wendy González también dice, ah, pero ella no lo escribió yeah. en el WhatsApp. Yeah, but uh -huh. Wendy y Natalie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gracias, compañera. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, but she's connected right now. When you Natalie is connected. You can use any pronoun, okay? Pueden usar cualquier pronoun que ustedes quieran, siempre y cuando los usen con él. Correctamente, ¿verdad? Con él. Por ejemplo, do you, do I, do we, do they? Or does he, does she, does it? All right? Y pueden reemplazar pronombres también si quieren. There's no problem. Does your sister, does your father, does your mother, does your colleague? Or you can say do... Lloyd and Hazel, or you can say do Juan Carlos and Luis Ricardo, right? Yeah, you can replace, pueden reemplazar el sujeto, los pronombres. You can replace pronouns. If you finished, put a hand like this, please. Give me thumbs up. Si ya terminaron, denme un thumbs up, please. Ahí con la manita del reactions. All right, thank you. Oh, Amber finished. Abigail too. Oh, and Luis Ricardo too, right? Yeah. Oh, Jenny too, right? All right. All right. Let's give. Let, okay. Let's see Brenda too. Luis Ricardo. Okay. So with the two. All right. One more minute. Un minuto más. One more minute. Because we need to advance with, with today's activity. All right. Uh, okay, let's 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 carry on. Okay, listen. Uh, in this moment, you are going to say your question. All right. You are not going to ask your question to a classmate. You are going to say the question to the class. So we listen to your question and we check whether your question is correct or incorrect. Yes. So we are the judges in this moment. Todos vamos a actuar como de jueces para ver. Si, la, si las preguntas están correctas o incorrectas. So, please, I want you to pay attention, yeah? So, please, read only one question using does and one question using do. Only one and one, right? One and one. One using do and one using does. All right, who wants to start? Who wants to start? Okay, let's see, Maria. Do Ricardo and Ember get money for sale? It does our company check the police? Can you repeat the last one? Can you repeat number two? Does our company check the police? The policies. 
polythes. The polythes, yeah. All right, so everybody, now I ask, uh, are Maria's questions correct or incorrect? I just think, are Maria's questions correct or incorrect? The second question is incorrect. The second the question, second is, question is incorrect. Can you read the second question again, Maria? Does our company check the policies? The policies, all right. Does Policy. our company check the policies? So okay. uh, let's see, Luis Ricardo and Loita say question number two is correct. What about the others? What do you it's think? It's incorrect. It's incorrect, Loita, right? So and the others, y los demás que piensan, the others, what do you think? Correct. Our company is incorrect. It's correct or incorrect? Juan Carlos? Correct. Incorrect. It's incorrect. All right. Uh, who said correct? Can you correct? Who oh. said correct? I. Ah, uh, Ember. Ember said correct. What about the others? What do you think? I think it's correct. Exactly. It's correct. It's correct. Because it's with us. <laughs> our, company. our company. How many companies? One or two companies? Oh, oh companies. companies. One it's company is singular. One company, our company. No, we say our companies. All right. It's our company. It's like saying it. Es como que estamos diciendo it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we say does. But if we say does, right? So does our company check policies or the policies? All right. So it's correct, Maria. It's correct. And for the, for the rest, that's why checking together is very important because we learn. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria. Anybody else? Any other volunteer? Any other volunteer to share the questions? Okay, let's listen to Wendy Natalie. Uh, do you bake cookies? All right. Yeah, it's okay. Does she sell Tupperware? All right, so uh, what do you think? Are the questions correct or incorrect? I don't understand the last one. Okay. Can you repeat the last one, Natalie, please? Uh, do you bake cookies? That's number one. And number two, please, repeat number two, the other. Does she sell Tupperware? Does she sell? Sell Tupperware. What is that? Topperware. Topperware. What is that? ¿Qué es? Es son como eh, de los depósitos para guardar comida. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. So, are the questions correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Yes. Speaking speaking about grammar, the questions are. Correct. So thank you very much, Natalie. Let's listen to two more. Escuchemos dos más. Let's listen to two more. Let's listen to Volunti. Oh, okay, let's see. Jocelyn wants to. Okay, Jocelyn. Uh, do you review the phone? Can you, uh, can you repeat, please? Can you repeat the example? Do you review the phone? All right, now go to the second. Uh, la segunda es, does he drive a bus? Does he drive a bus? What do you mean by do you review the phone? ¿Qué quiere decir con do you review the phone? Joseph? Eh, tú revisas el teléfono. Maybe Quería poner. The phone. Yes, Jennifer. Uh, you better say check, Joseph. Check sounds better. Okay. Do you check the phone? Siempre me confundo con no. esa. It's okay, we are trying. Check. check. Pero está bien el de, the phone. Yes, yes, the phone. All right. Okay. Now let's, what about Jocelyn's questions? Are they correct or incorrect? Correct or incorrect? Yes, they are correct. Okay. Yes, Jocelyn's questions are? Correct, only check, only say check the phone, Jocelyn, all right? Check the phone, do you check the phone, yeah? All right, thank you very much. One more, one last, 
Okay, let's see Jessica. Okay. Uh, do they do they work during weekend? And does she always work so quickly? Can you repeat the last one? Does she always? Does he always walk so quickly? Uh, I walk, 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 walk uh -huh. so quickly. All right, does she always walk so quickly? All right, so now I ask, are Jessica's questions correct or incorrect? Or you want to listen again? Quieren escucharlas otra vez? Correct. Correct, correct. Yes, they are correct. They are correct. Just repeat the last one. Please, Jessica, repeat number two. Okay. Uh, does he always walk so quickly? Mm -hmm. I would say fast. Yo diría mejor fast, que so okay. quickly. Uh -huh. okay. Does he always run fast? Yeah, I would say that. All right, thank you, Jessica. Thank you very Teacher. much. Yes. Uh, uh, how do you say? Quickly. Quickly. Uh -huh. In Spanish. Rapidamente. Uh -huh. quickly. Rapidamente, you're saying quickly. Like, do it quickly. Right? Do it quickly. Do it fast. All right? Thank All you. Right. Sorry? No. Okay. All right. Now, listen. Now, let's go to today's class. And um, for today's class, we have. Questions again. We have questions in the simple present, but this time we will use what, where, when, who, and let me see, and how, and how. All right. So we are using information questions today. Yeah. Right. So, um, look for the for the first for the first activity. Let me see here. All right, let me, let me check here quickly my, 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 my agenda. All right, for the first activity, think, think about the different de departments in the place you work. What departments do you have in your workplace? Maybe you can say human resources department, maybe you can say information technology department, if you don't have departments, you have areas. Tal vez hay areas. If you don't have departments, right? So no hay departamentos. And then think about what activity you do at the department you work. So I repeat, in this moment, think about departments in your workplace. And think about one activity you do in your department, in the department you work, all right? So, what departments do we have in your workplace? Can you share, please? Pueden compartir, can you share? <clears throat> what departments do we have in your workplace? You can say- Santa Tecla. Sorry? Santa Tecla. No, li listen to the question. In the place, in the company, or at the school, you work, there are different departments. Hay diferentes departamentos, departments in the company, right? For example, you can have the, the marketing department, or you can have the human resources department, el departamento de recursos humanos, okay, el departamento de ventas, I don't know, the sales department, or maybe you can have the, the marketing department, el departamento de mercadeo. So what departments do you have in your company? or areas, or areas, or areas. Parts, departments. Sublimation. Or... Okay, one by one. Okay, Juan Carlos first. Raise your hand so we don't get confused. Levanten la mano para que no nos confundamos, sorry. So we don't get confused. Juan Carlos? Parts, department, or spark, department. Or? Spark, department, or parts, department. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's see. Maria Elena, I think. In my days, um, technical project. All right. Technical projects department. department. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria. Anybody else? 
No one. Sorry, Loida. No one teachers in my work. You don't have, Loida, you don't have departments at the school, right? No. But you have areas or offices. I have areas, exactly. Uh, yeah, I said, you can say areas or offices. You can say areas or offices too. So you, you can say we have okay. the principal's office, the sub principal's office, yeah. Okay. All right, so anybody else, Algemas? Anybody else? Departments at the company. Or do you want to investigate? Or can you investigate how se dice? Do you want to investigate how to say departments in English? Yeah. The quality, uh, quality control department. Yes. Yes, the quality control department. Okay, thank you very much. Jenny, anybody else on your mask? Okay, Roxana. I work in the um, customer service department. Yes, customer service department. Brenda, do, do you have one? Thank you, Rosana. Okay, Brenda. Informatic department. Can you repeat, please? Okay, informatic, informatic department. Say okay. it's correct. Maybe you, can say, maybe you can say, Brenda, information technology department. Information oh. technology department or IT department. Oh, okay. <laughs> so information, okay, say it. Information, uh, information technology uh, department. Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you very much. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any, okay, let's see Abigail. Logistic department. Please. Logistic department. Yes, logistics department. department. Okay, that's excellent. That's very good. So at the school, what offices or areas do you have? Loida and the teachers. What offices or, or areas do you have at the school? We have direction. Uh, you can say principal's office. The principal office? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, the secretary? Yeah. The teachers, mm, the teachers area? No, you the don't have teachers. A, or you can say or you can say the teacher's room if you want. Teacher's room. The teacher's room. All right. Okay. The, uh, Computer center? No. Yes. Yes. It's okay. Computer uh, center. The nursery? No. I. I. ¿Cómo se? How do you say enfermería en todo caso? Mm -hmm. You can say nursery in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Psicología. Uh, Ahora, señor Loidi. Ah, sí. Uh, we have psychology area. Yeah. And, and, ah, and uh, Salon Ludico. Oh my God, sports. It's like a sports, the farm, uh, sports <laughs> room. <laughs> Toys rooms. Ah, okay. And we have a cafeteria. <laughs> cafeteria. Cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Cafeteria. Do you have a maintenance? Do you have a maintenance room? Mm, yes. Maintenance. A maintenance room. All right, thank you. Oh my God, you see? You have different areas, right? Thank you. Anybody else? Are you must? Anybody else? Mention all the departments you want, all the departments you can. Okay, Jocelyn. Uh, sublimation department. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> um, a security industrial department. Yeah, you you better say industrial security department. Industrial ah. security department. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Y recursos humanos, pero no sé cómo se me olvida. Human resource. Eh, human resource. Okay. Human resource department. All right. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you for sharing. Now. The equation here, or the equation in this moment is, in which department do you work? Or in which area do you work? In which office 
do you work? I repeat, the question is, or the questions are, in which department do you work? In which area do you work? Or in which office do you work? Yeah, that's the question here right now. Okay, Jennifer, in which uh, department area or office do you work? I work in production department. Good, that's it. Okay, let's see, Elga. I in the marketing department. Good, that's excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, Loida. I work in a principal office. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's see, Ember. I work in white line department. Good, that's excellent. All right, let's see, with Ricardo. I work in maintenance department. Awesome, Rosana. I work in the um, customer service. Yeah, in customer service. Yeah, only the, it's not a department, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Maria Elena. I work in um, technical project department. Oh, in the technical projects department. Technical okay, project. thank you very much. Let's see the last one, uh, Jesenia. I work a, a school teacher, high school teacher. Uh, maybe you can say I work in the classroom. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I work in the classroom. All right. So, uh, Jacqueline, do you want to share? Quiere compartir, Jacqueline? I am working to customer service. Okay. I am working or I work? I work. I work in customer service. Service. Repeat it, please. I work in in the customer service. In customer service, all right. In customer service. Okay. Customer thank, service. thank you very much for for sharing. Okay, so I see you working in different departments, production departments, as Jenny Ray, uh, Lloyd as a principal's office, uh, and with Ricardo said in the. Um, Maintenance area, Elsa said in the what? In the marketing department, right? Marketing. All right. So I, I, I still have a good memory. All right. Thank you very much for sharing. Now let's go to the next activity. Now listen. I want to present some vocabulary. Pay attention to this vocabulary because this vocabulary is important for the next activity. All right. So pay attention to the vocabulary. And if you want, take notes. If you want, take notes. If you want, take notes. All right? Okay, let me share a screen. Me voy a compartir la pizarrita. I will share my, my board. All right, here we have. Okay, listen. Uh, first, we have the word. First, we have the word. Let me put this here. All right. So first, we have the word. Um, Raw, raw material. Any idea what raw material is? Materia prima. Materia prima. So we have raw material is materia prima. So this, this phrase is important in companies, right? Raw material, materia prima. So the second one is research. What is research? The, no, no, desarrollo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Kind of, kind of, más o menos, research. Research is investigar. In this case, right, because it's a verb. Research is investigar o investigación, puede ser también, okay? So research. Research department, departamento de investigación, research. Department, okay? Research. Uh, number three. Number three is recruit. What is recruit? Uh, 
Reclutar. Reclutar. Recruit employees. Reclutar empleados nuevos. Recruit new employees, right? Recruit. Recruit is reclutar, pero de empleados, right? Recruit employees, all right? Uh, the next one is train. Entrenar. Exactly. Train is entrenar. No es tren. Train puede significar tren, pero en este caso, el contexto como es uh, in the working area, en el área de trabajo, train is entrenar. So I repeat, raw material, materia prima. Research, investigar. Recruit, reclutar, and train, train. Train is entrenar. Train is entrenar. Train. Okay, now listen to the pronunciation. Raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Research. 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 Recruit. 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 Train. 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 So did you take notes? Ya tomar notas? Did you take notes? Yes. Yes. All right, let's let's check others. Revisemos otras palabras. Let's check other other words. Now listen. I have this word here. This word is important for fine inflow. And these are opposite words. Son palabras contrarias. And outflows. Inflows and outflows. What is inflows? En el piso. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's about money. It's about money. Se trata de dinero. It's about money. Inhalar. Escuchar. Eh, Invertir. Infla y de inflación. Ah, it's close. Ingresos está cerca. Entrada y salida. Entrada y salida. Entradas y salidas. About money, right? Acerca de dinero. Inflows, entradas. Outflows, salidas de dinero. Okay? Yeah. So the inflows of the company and the outflows of the company, all right? Inflows, I repeat, entradas, outflows, salidas. About money, right? Acerca de dinero, about money, okay? Okay, the next one, ah, this is easy. Solo para que la sepan nada más, this is easy. What is this? Inventario. Inventario, inventory. Inventory is inventario. Inventory. Inventory. Mm -hmm. Inventory. Ah, exactly. Now check this out. Workforce. What is workforce? Trabajo la fuerza. Fuerza de trabajo. Fuerza de trabajo. Uh -huh. We can say la clase de trabajo. Personas. Workforce. Mm -hmm. Fuerza de trabajo. Uh -huh. Trabajo forzado. No, no, no. Eh, the thing that is about people es acerca de personas. The workforce es como, digamos, un pequeño grupo, grupo. de personas. The workforce. Grupo de personas. Ah, es un grupo de personas. How can we translate it? ¿Cómo sería una traducción? La fuerza laboral podría ser. Eh, let me check first. Déjame revisar primero. ¿Cómo trabajo en equipo? Mm, let me check. Let me check quickly. Vamos a revisar mejor rápidamente. We will check yes, it quickly. How is la clase trabajadora? What is a, is a little group, all right? But let me check it. Déjenme revisarlo para darles algo más exacto. Workforce. Mano de obra. Mano de obra. Mano de obra. Exactly. I would say that. Fuerza de trabajo, too. Mm -hmm. O fuerza laboral. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Como personal. Yes, like all of all employees of a company, como todos los empleados de alguna compañía, so the workforce. Son los que impulsan la compañía, the workforce. Se refiere a personas. No, no. Okay? Mm -hmm. La clase trabajadora, podríamos decir. The workforce. Yeah. And finally, we have... Um, Improve is a verb, es un verbo, improve. What is improve? Mejorar. Mejorar, exactly. Improve is mejorar. 
improve the quality of the products, for example, mm -hmm. la calidad de los productos, improve the quality of the products, okay? Now listen to the pronunciation. Inflows, 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 outflows, 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 inventory, 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 workforce, 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 improve, improve, improve. Ok, so this is the new vocabulary. Did you take notes? Ya tomar nota, puedo cerrar. Can I close? Yes. Yes, ok, perfect. All right, so uh, basically uh, this vocabulary is important for the next activity. So it, it was important for you to, to take notes. All right, listen. In the next activity, we have some departments. Ok, we have some departments. And we have some activities they do in those departments, right? So your work, tu trabajo será, your work will be to match. Emparejar las definiciones con el departamento o las actividades. To match the activities with the correct department. Okay, let me show you here. This is on the, on the pamphlet. Okay, here. Check. Okay, so we have production department, research and development department, purchasing department, marketing, human resources management, and accounting and finance. So you need to put the number next to the activity. Yes, next to the correct, next to the correct activity. So this is on page 29. It's on page 29. So for this, it's on page 29. We will work in groups. Lo vamos a trabajar en equipos. We will work in groups. So go to page 29 and complete the activity. So please let's go to breakout rooms and work in teams. Trabajen en equipos. Work in teams, please. Okay, let's go. Let's go to breakout rooms to work. No, 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 no pues ya la terminó Elena no no hola cómo le quedaron cómo le quedaron las preguntas para mí la, la primera es, es marketing ah sí Igual ah, research, production, uh, supervisor, the production, fourth, um, 
Sin Victoria, no sé. A mí esa me quedó. ¿Y la dos cuál le quedó? La dos. Human, Victor, manager. La dos. Oh, ¿Y a usted? A mí quedó Yellow Design New or Improvision Exit Production of. Obvio. Vale, la otra dice. ¿Cómo es que dice? Develop. Así es. Develop, sí. Develop. Desarrollar. Ah, ok. Desarrollar. No. Ahí Diseñar es design. El... Ajá, nuevos diseños o las mejores de las existentes productos o procesos. Ahí sería um, marketing. Eh, uh, y marketing. ¿Cuál es marketing? Adquisitivo, ¿eso qué significa? ¿El qué? Por, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Y cuál? En, uh... la, la tres. Ah, por casing. ¿Por? Por casing. Por casing. Comprar y adquirir nuevo material, uh -huh. dice, equipo para la producción. Y por casing significa adquisitivo. Uh -huh. Porque ahí sí se refiere a compras, así como la, la factura de compra. Y se ha fijado que dice por case. Ajá. Entonces es la factura de compra. ¿Cómo adquirir? Uh -huh. Es comprar. Una forma de, de decir oh, comprar. Okay. For the, for the okay, okay. Of this word, you say purchase. ¿Cómo? Purchase. 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 Con che. Con che. Purchase. Ajá, purchase. O you can say purchasing. Ahí en compras, como la que, como la que tiene. Purchase. Purchase. Purchasing. 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 Exactly. Okay. O sea, okay. En mi último viaje que estuve en Inglaterra, estuve hablando con la reina, mencionaba por casing. Oh, really? <risa> no, <really. risa> ahora, y ahora cuál se ha fumado ahora estoy confundido es que él es que él viaja mucho lee yeah, sí. no no va a hacer volar el problema es que ahora estoy confundido porque imagine y vos de Queen of England fue la reina de Inglaterra que lo dijo yeah. entonces ahora sí ya puse en duda <risa> Mi conocimiento. Es por, por chasing. Chasing sería chasing o chasing. Ah, ah cha. No es. Ah, ahí la A no. Ah, es porche. Porchasing. 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 Exacto. Y la otra palabra por chase sería. Por chase sería la. la por chase creo que se escribe. La factura de compra. Que se escribe ah. por chase. No, es porches, the same. A porches. Porches. The thing is, the, the thing is that the, the word is porches. La palabra, el verbo es porches. Oh, solo que a veces se le pone ING. Porchesing. Ajá, para. Bueno, ya vamos a ver más adelante eso de este tema. Porchesing. Ah, ok. El ING. Perfecto. Ya. Yeah. Porchesing. ¿Cuándo va a ser eso? Va. Es lo que hemos hablado, Reclutar y seleccionar el, personal, el nuevo personal, los nuevos empleados, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Reclutar, seleccionar y entrenar a nuevos empleados para el, para el trabajo en la compañía. Para el trabajo, para la compañía. Creo que sí, el número 5, recursos humanos. Sí. Vaya, vaya la, y la tercera, que la lea. Vaya, la leo yo. Vaya, está bien, Dice: Keep the financial 
record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Eso quiere decir mantener la finanza, el récord de finanzas de las transacciones involved. Espérenme, no me digan para que yo aquí me. <ríe> eh, involved. Uy, que envuelven, no vean. Bueno. Ah, no, no lo tengo aquí. Pero que, ajá, que como que sabes que implica que envuelve las entradas de dinero y las salidas de dinero. Todas las transacciones monetarias, uh -huh. dice. Accounting and finance, dice. Si uh -huh. Para mí puede ser eso. Compra. Ajá. Y necesito. Uh -huh. okay. Recruit. Recruit. Select uh -huh. and train new employees for the right job in the company. Human Research Management. 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 Dice, keep the financial record of trans, transactions. Transaction. Invol, involving. I no sé cómo se dice eso. Involving. Involved. 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 Casi me mordió la lengua. Teacher, <laughs> what is involving? Involving monetary. Sorry? What is involving? It's like, let me see, keep the financial record of transactions. Involving monetary inflows, uh -huh, que envuelven. You can say que envuelven uh -huh, entradas, moneta, entradas y salidas monetarias. Uh -huh. Oh Entrada y salida monetaria. Yes. Research and identify what customers want to need in the rigged place. Qué rápido hablaste, Roxanne. El traductor. <laughs> <laughs> It's Google Translate. <laughs> ok, entonces practicamos, niños. Primero digo yo, production sería control and supervise the production, dice workforce and in. Vale. Entonces, a su señal, número uno. <risa> Vaya, adelante, Jocelyn. ¡Ah, yo! <risa> ¡Ay! <risa> ok. Eh, tengo que decir la production. Production, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory work así work eh como el workforce force workforce workforce uh -huh. work me muerdo la lengua a veces <laughs> otra vez otra vez control and supervise the production workforce and Inventory. Así. Very good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Me gustó. You rock, Jocelyn. Number two. Jocelyn. ¿Cómo? You rock. You rock. Eh, like, you rock. Ah, sí. Esa es una expresión. Es una expresión para decir que hiciste un buen trabajo. <laughs> pues estuvo muy bien. You rock. Como ah, teacher, no lo había visto. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right, carry on. Continue. Okay. Carry on. Okay. Okay. Number two is a uh, research and develop development. Is development design new or improve exit products or process? Okay. 
Ahora Jennifer. Espera, pero me voy a salir porque lo, te, lo voy a, tengo que buscar. Ok. Sería la tercera, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Precious scene. Uh, buy and acquire raw materials, production, equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Ah, eh, no sabía que, que etcétera se dijera etcétera. Qué chido. Etcétera. Hola. You say equipment or equipment. Equipment. Or equipment. I don't know how you hear. <laughs> it's equipment, the pronunciation. Equipment. 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 Yeah. Equip okay. equi equipment. Uh, equipment. Equipment. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, so, teacher. All right. Number four. Equip. 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 All right, did everybody finish? Terminaron todos? Did everybody finish? Yeah, did you finish? Yes. Yes, all right, that's, that's perfect. All right, so it's time to check. Vamos a revisar, it's time to check. All right, but for checking, uh, maybe let's choose different members from different teams, all right? Let's see from... We have five teams, right? Teníamos cinco equipos. So one volunteer from every team, un voluntario de cada equipo, uno, just one, to chair. One volunteer from every team, un voluntario de cada equipo, one volunteer from every team. Okay, let's see, um, Maria Elena. Yeah, so uh, you will uh, give number one, okay? Number one, production, okay? So the other team, el otro equipo, the other team, Okay, let's see Loida. Jacqueline. Uh, Loida, research and development, all right? And Jacqueline, alguien dijo Jacqueline, right? Somebody said Jacqueline, yeah? Okay, Jacqueline, yeah, Jacqueline. number three, purchasing. Number three, purchasing, all right? Number four, faltan dos equipos, we're missing two groups. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, marketing. Marketing, Juan Carlos. And number five, no falta uno, we're missing one. Abigail. Abigail, all right. Human resources management, number five, okay? Human resources management. So please read the department and the definition, all right? So number one, number one, production, number one. Let's listen. Production. Control and supervise the production for workforce and inventory. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's very good. So control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Oh, nice. It's excellent. Very good. Number two, research and development. Okay. Riches and development. Mm -hmm. Develop, design, new or improve excite, existing products and processes. And processes, all right. Oh my God, it's perfect, Loida. Thank you very much. It's very good. All right, thank you for sharing. Three. Teacher, no sé cómo se pronuncia, por, purchasing. Purchasing. ¿Cómo? Purchasing. Purchasing. Purchasing, uh-huh. Purchasing. Yeah. Buy in Akiri, no sé qué es. Akiri, of course. Let me see, let me see. In acquire. Acquire. In acquire. Buy and acquire right material, production, equipment, etc. of the use of the organization. Oh my God, that's very good. It's excellent. Thank you, Jacqueline. It's perfect, all right? But you say equipment or equipment. The pronunciation, equipment or equipment. Jenny, can you help us? Equip, equipment. Equipment. I don't know. 
Jenny, can you help us? Equipment. E equipment. Thank you, Juan Carlos and Jenny. Equipment, okay? Equipment for everybody, right? Para todos, equipment, all right? Thank you very much, it's perfect. Number four. Okay, Juan Carlos. Develop marketing, say, develop. Say the, say the department, please, and then you. Okay, marketing. Develop, design new or pro, design new or improve existing products or processes. Mm -hmm. Yes or not? Marketing. Okay, let me see. You say not. Develop, design new, improve existing products or processes. Not. No, not. All right. Not okay. Thank you. Not. Can you help Juan Carlos, please? All right. Yes, it's research and identify what customers want and need a right place. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so that's the answer, Juan Carlos, all right? So it research and identify what customers want and need at the right place, all right? So that's, that, that's the, the definition for that one, okay? Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Let's see number five. Human resources management. Human resource management. Uh, res resource and identify what customer want and need at the right place. <clears throat> Human resources management. Not. Not. Who, who said not? not? Who said no? Not. Okay, Jocelyn, not. can you help? Can you help Roxana, please? Uh, human resource man man ¿cómo se dice manager management eh uh, recruit select and train new employees for the right job in the company yeah it's perfect and that's the answer recruit select and train new employees for the right job in the company all right thank you very much thank you for your help and thank you Rosana the last one one volunteer for number 6 one volunteer for number six. De los que no han participado, un volunteer for number six. Okay, let's listen to Nelson. Accounting and finance. Nelson? Nelson, your microphone, el micrófono, your microphone, Nelson. Perdón, okay. teacher. It's okay, go ahead. Accounting and financial. Keep the financial record of transactions in Burlington, Manchari, and outflow. Inflows and outflows. All right, thank you. That's very good, Nelson. Thank you very much for sharing. All right. So thank you for your participation. So listen, these are like different departments we have in a company. We have more departments. We have more departments. But here, we only have six or the most important ones. Tenemos como los más importantes, los que no faltan en las compañías normalmente, okay? The ones which are not missing in a company. And also we can have other departments, también podemos tener otros. Information technology department, for example, or maybe the sales department, but the quality control, somebody said, alguien lo dijo también, right? So, um, oh my God, it's 19 already. So let's have a break of two minutes in this moment, a break of two minutes, and then you come back, all right? Two minutes, break. Receso de dos minutos, okay? So let's go, vamos. So I did all the teachers present to a school today. So did all the teachers uh, go to a school today? Uh, what? If the... The teachers, I mean, uh, you're ah. a principal, right? Did the teachers yeah. go to a school today? Um, Pero, like, no. Was teachers mm. the Friday go the other teachers mm. Mm -hmm. interesting you but work in a, in a public or private school 
in private school. In a private school. Where? Where do you work in San Salvador? Ah, in Santa Tecla, you said. In, in, Santa, in Santa Tecla, the name of the school is Colegio Cristiano Juan Benavides. Oh, nice. Interesting. All right. So you are the principal of the school. Yes. Oh, interesting. Very good. Mm -hmm. I actually I work in a public school. Ah, yeah. so nice. Uh -huh. I work in a, in a public school in Morazan. Ah, in what school? Uh, the name of the school is Colonia La Flores. Okay. Yeah, es una, es una que, que andaba en Lima ahí en un tema político que subió de que se llamaba Coronel Mauricio Ernesto Vargas. Y que le, Ay, le cambié el nombre. Ajá, Ay. es esa escuela. That's cool. Okay. Qué yeah. verdad. Los maestros, de, los teachers son bien cotizados en las escuelas, ¿verdad? Yeah, normally. Normally. Ah, okay. uh, yes, Ember. Ah, eh, quería comentarle, mañana tengo una cita médica ya bastante tarde, entonces no sé si voy a poder estar en la clase. O si puedo, al menos voy a estar de oyente. Igual le voy a confirmar por un mensajito. Ok, tal vez si llega temprano, llegar se, se pone. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, no problem, it's okay. All right, so it's time. Okay. It's, it's hora, it's time to come back, right? I said two minutes, so the two minutes are over. Ok, so let me pass the attendance first. Voy a pasar a asistencia antes de todo. I will pass attendance first. So let me see, Ana Abigail. Abigail is here, right? I saw Abigail here somewhere. Yes. Brenda Yanira. Here. Edgar. I'm here. Ember. I'm here. Hazel Sarai. Do we have Hazel here? I'm here. All right. Thank you, Hazel. Jacqueline? I'm here. Jefferson, yes, right? Is Jefferson connected? No, it's working. It's working, sí, pero dijo que iba a estar conectado. Pero no lo veo conectado. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe he has a problem. Uh -huh, maybe, right? Okay, so Jennifer, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. All right, Jessica. I'm here. Juan Carlos. I'm here. Goita. I'm here. Ah, Luis Alejandro is not connected, right? He's working too, I guess. Luis Alejandro también está trabajando, Jenny? Mm, no. I don't know why, why he didn't connect. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Because he's working out the day. Okay, very good, thank you. Luis Ricardo? I'm here. All right, thank you. Maria Elena? I'm here. All right, Nancy. She's, she's not connected, right? Nelson? I am here. Rosanna? Here. All right. Wendy Natalie? I am here. Perfect. Yesenia? I am here. And Jocelyn? I am here, teacher. All right, so you can say, I am here or here I am. It's the same. I am here or here I am. Ambos, okay, both ways. Okay, now, um, just before we go to the next activity, I have one question. How was the test? Como estuvo el examen? How was the test? Easy, 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 how was the exam? How was the exam? Cuénteme su experiencia. Tell me your experience with the exam, with the test. Easy teacher. Easy, Easy teacher. teacher. Easy. <laughs> ¿Les salió algo que no hayamos visto en la clase? ¿O todo lo que hemos visto? Todo lo que hemos visto. Todo lo que hemos visto. Nada, espera. De Yo creo que había un par de temitas que no. Oh, en serio. Por ejemplo, por mm, ejemplo. Era chico. Ay, no me acuerdo ahorita. Le tomé screenshot, creo, pero no me acuerdo. Ok, you share later. Tal vez nos comparte después. Maybe you share later. Please, so, so we check that. Ok. So, ah, pero todos sacaron, ¿eh? Solo una persona que sacó 95. 
según estaba revisando. Only one, only one person got 95, I guess. Creo que solo una persona sacó 95. Ahí todos sacaron 100. Everybody got 100. Perfect score. Resultado, perfecto. Perfect score. Okay, so congrats. Felicidades. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let, let's, let's, let's go to the next activity. So in the next activity, we have like the most important part of the class. Grammar is very important actually in English. Many when we are adults, mayormente cuando ya somos adultos. Para un niño no es importante porque un niño adquiere el idioma, right? Fácil. So grammar doesn't matter. But for us, adults, grammar matters. Para nosotros los adultos sí importa la gramática cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma, okay? So listen. Uh, the topic we have for today is um, the, the simple present. But we have information questions with the simple present, okay? So in this moment, I want you to take a look at this. Quiero que les echen un vistazo a lo siguiente. Take a look at this, please. Let me share here. Take a look at this. <laughs> Not this, it's the other. This, okay, echen un vistazo a esto. Take a look at this, please. Check it out, revise it. Check it out, please. So check very carefully. Revise it very carefully. Check very carefully, please. Okay, uh, check question number one. In question, uh, obviously, today we will study the pronouns I, you, we, they, and you again, right, for, for plural. So check question number one. What do I do? What do I do? All right, aquí voy a, voy a aclarar. El do se usa dos veces porque el do aquí es un verbo auxiliar y el do aquí es un verbo principal. Este do no tiene significado, pero este do se, sí tiene significado, es una acción. What do I do? ¿Qué hago yo? What do I do? Ah, then you say, I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. Podría decir, I work in the human resources department. Or I work in the, what? In the quality control department, right? When do we go to meetings? When, listen, when do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. We go to meetings two times a week or twice a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's need. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. All right. Now, according to this, de acuerdo a esto, according to this, what is what? ¿Qué es what? What is what? ¿Qué? 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 Exactly. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Like what? Yeah, well, yeah. Here, right? Very good. Okay. What is where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Don't Don't now listen. So where, cuando hacemos una pregunta con where, obviously, obviamente, la, en la respuesta vamos a tener un lugar. 
Porque estoy preguntando acerca de un lugar. Where? ¿Dónde? Ah, in a place, en un lugar. In the accounting department, in this case, right? When? What is when? ¿Dónde? Sorry? No, when. ¿Cuándo? 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 Exactly. When is cuando. So it's time. Es acerca de tiempo. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. Nosotros en la respuesta vamos a tener una expresión de tiempo, right? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando una pregunta de tiempo. When? ¿Cuándo? When? Two times a week. Dos veces a la semana. When? Two times a week. Aquí es a week. Por cierto, esa tienda la lleva. Hay un error ahí en, la, en el folleto, ¿ok? Yeah. Two times a week. How? What is how? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo, right? How is? ¿Cómo? Exactly. So, cuando hacemos la pregunta, ¿cómo? ¿Qué es lo que necesitamos en una respuesta? ¿Cómo hacemos? ¿Cómo hacerlo? ¿Cómo hacerlo? Un proceso. La acción, un verbo. Ajá. La pregunta, ¿cómo se responde con un proceso? How? And here, look. They investigate the customer's needs. Ellos investigan las necesidades de los clientes. ¿Ya? Yeah? And finally, what time do you take breakfast? Guess what time? ¿Qué hora? ¿Qué ¿A qué hora? Exactly. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8. Again. Now listen. What time is? ¿Qué horas? Obviamente, obviously, in the answer, we will have the time. En la respuesta tendremos la, la hora. In the answer, we will have the, the time. All right. Now I will close this. Esto está en su material. Okay. Now, uh, do you have any question about this? Okay, Roxana. In which, Prof? Roxana, podría ser la... Roxana. Podría ser la respuesta solo breakfast. Eh, la hora que I take breakfast. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. In, in speaking English, it's okay. Cuando estoy hablando, está bien. Pero cuando estoy escribiendo es algo más formal. Ok, se supone, right? Supposedly. So you write the, the full answer. Escribe la oración completa. Cuando estoy escribiendo porque es algo más, más formal. It's something more formal. Right? Yeah. Escribiendo algo formal, right? Pero si estoy chatting, no problem. Yeah. No problem. So, Loida, do you have a question? El which. ¿Por qué no lo uso acá? Ahorita, lo hay, ah, okay. hay tres que no están incluidos que ya se los voy a explicar aparte, que no aparecen en el material, pero ya se los voy a explicar ahorita. Okay, so do you have any other question? No? Ok. Uh, listen, we have three more. Here we started, uh, we started what, where, when, how, and what time. Yeah? And what time. Now we have three more. Tenemos tres más. We have three more. And in these three, we have, um, let me share the, the board here. In these three, we have, um, let me see here. Okay. Yes, let me look for a, for a different color. So in these three, we have um, why. What is why? Por qué? ¿Por qué? Por ejemplo, ¿Por qué? ¿Qué? Por la pregunta. Por ejemplo, you can say, hey, why, why do you work? Why do you work? ¿Por qué trabajo? ¿Por qué trabajo? I need money. Para la pregunta. Hobby. Sorry. Y para la, para la respuesta, que también significa por qué. Hey, why do you work? En la respuesta, because I need money. Alguien dijo por ahí, right? Because I need money, all right? Hey, because why do you work? Because I need money. money. All right, so we have... Quiero hacer también because I have a two child. Exactly, you can say because I have two children and they need food, they need milk, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. So if we have why, también no, why you... minus information question. Why? Remember, Pero... why para preguntar, because para responder. Los dos significan por qué. The two of them mean why. All right? Good. Why? 
Now we have another one. Veamos otro. Let's see another one. The other one is who. What is who? ¿Qué es who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Exactly. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Okay. Who is? ¿Quién? Now, you can say who do you work with? Who do you work with? What does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esa pregunta? ¿Quién trabaja contigo? Cuando tú trabajas. Este güey ¿Quién es... Trabaja contigo? ¿Quién trabaja o con quién trabajas? Puede ser... Oh, hold on. Deme un momento. Give me a moment. Pero no es... Yes. This is... ¿Con quién trabajas? Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajas? Who do you work with? You can say... I work... With, ¿con quién trabaja? With my. You can say with my friend. I work with my. With my friend. So listen. Who. Who. Se usa para preguntar por una persona. Who, quién. Who, right? Quién. Así que la respuesta va a ser una persona. My friend. Who. My friend. Who. My wife, who? My teacher, who? My classmate, who? My boss. Teacher. Yes? Uh, which, ¿qué significa en sí? Con. 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 Teacher. Yes, Loida? Pero, pero yo toda la vida he creído que se dice, how do you, how do you work with you? No, pero no, es solo el with. No, with. Uh -huh, with. Who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajas? Who do you work with? Normalmente, normally, important. Normally, normalmente, este who, cuando se usa en presente simple, casi siempre se usa el with. For example, you can say, who do you, cambiamos el, cambiamos el verbo, miren. Podemos cambiar el verbo, ya no, ya no decimos work. So we can say, Who do you study English with? Oh, you can say, I study English with Jefferson. Or you can say, maybe, um, vamos a decir, go to the park and bet the work. Who do you go to the park with? I go to the park with my family, you can say. Okay? Ese with casi siempre va en el presente simple, okay? Almost always. Por no decir siempre. <laughs> okay? So, aparte de lo que ya vimos, hemos estudiado dos más, right? Two more. Why and? Who? And, who? Who? and the last one. Ese no lo voy a explicar, pero ya que me lo mencionó, lo mencionó ahorita, lo voy a explicar. Which? Which? Which in Spanish is cuál? Which? O a veces puede ser what. It depends on the context, all right? So, which is for preference, para preferencia, normalmente, which, which is for preference. For example, which color do you, which color do you like? ¿Cuál color te gusta? Which color do you like is preference? Es una preferencia. O en vez de color, we can say maybe which jeans do you like? Or which car do you like? Which motorcycle do you like? Which company do you prefer? Yeah? So which is for preference? El which es normalmente para preferencia, for preference, yeah? Just like that, do I answer your question? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, do you have any, okay, let me turn screen. So do you have any question about this topic? Do you have yeah. any English, about? que dijo en la, en la pregunta anterior, English, creo que le escuché. Which? English. Hmm. Cuando English. nos preguntó lo de la, donde trabajábamos. Hmm. Who no le suena. 
No, no, I don't remember. No, no recuerdo. No, I don't remember. Maybe uh, teacher. Which, o, o era una palabra en específico la que mencioné. No, en la pregunta era una lo dijo. Que usted hizo. Ajá. Con which. Con which. Yes. Yes, es una pregunta. Por eso me la recordó porque casi nunca la usa. In which. Ah, esa, esa. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you can say in which. Podemos decir in which. In which cases do we use this? In, in cuáles casos o en qué casos? In which cases? Yeah, it's okay. Se puede usar. In which cases do you use which or what, for example, all right? In which cases? In which? Yeah. All right. So it's time to work, all right? So do you have any question before we practice this topic? Do you have any question before we practice this topic? No questions? It's clear. Uh, yeah. Ese, ese with, eh, se puede usar siempre en, en tercera persona también. Digamos como yeah. he, she. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, Amber, but right now in this moment uh we are studying only i you we and they for pronouns recuerden que el material divide los pronombres de tercera persona del singular y los otros pronombres okay para que no se confundan for you not to get confused uh -huh. so uh, probably tomorrow we will study information questions with he she it probably right yeah but it's possible it's possible it's possible it's possible Amber. Okay. okay. So, any other question? Now, again, we will go to breakout rooms. And in breakout rooms, you will go to page, let me check here. In breakout rooms, you will go to page 30. Página 30, page 30. And on page 30, exercise five, it says, create questions based on the answers. Van a hacer preguntas para las respuestas que tienen acá. Lean bien la respuesta en el equipo que van a estar y van a crear la pregunta para esa respuesta, ¿ok? It's on page 30. Está en la página 30 de su material. So, are you ready? Ok, let's go to breakout rooms. Let me see. All right, let's go to breakout rooms to work. Sí, en realidad, 
Entonces, es que se me fue el internet y me metí a otro grupo, pero está bien. Sorry, sorry about that, Loida. Sorry about that. The things that in your team you have four members. Y de ahí había en algunos equipos solo de dos. Entonces, para dejarlos como más, no sé, dejarlos mejor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. why. Yeah. Entonces, la, ¿cómo sería la primera? When do, When do you write report about the production? To write report. Bueno, cuando cuando tú escribes el, report, el reporte, ¿verdad? Así. Fíjese que tengo un problemita con la internet justo ahorita que se me va y se me viene y casi no los escucho. No escucho cortado. Ajá, exacto. Corta. Ah, ya. No sé qué me ha pasado. Se ve como que un ruidito al fondo. When do you write report? Y ahí va about the production. About the production, sí, sobre la producción. Cuando escribes un reporte sobre la producción. Ah, va. Vamos a ver cómo sale acá esto. About the production. La segunda, uh -huh. bueno, la respuesta dice Where do que, you work? Where uh, do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas tú? Where do you work? Bien, where do you work? Y la otra sería... Eh, What time? Habla de, sería one, what, one time, ¿verdad? What time? Mm -hmm. what, what time? What time? What time? Maria and you? Ahí no escribimos en you. What time what do you time do you do? Maria and you. Sorry. Maria and you. Ahí sería, what time no do you? Tú sabes el pleno María. Eh, no es. sé si es, pero qué pronombre ocuparíamos. We, porque está Es, what time María and you start to work. María, eh, hasta, en estar, ¿cómo es? Start. Ajá, start. To work. Good. Tú, ajá. Pero, con la T, que dijo que había un error en la T. No, sí, va ahí. ¿A qué? No, sí, no, no, está, bueno, está bien escrito, working, ajá. No, 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 antes de la 10, donde dice, at, ahí está bien, como dijo que había un error en el libro, no sé si ahí es el error, o ahí está bien, no, dicha. No. Ahí está bien. Ahí está bien. What ah, time are yeah, you? Uh -huh. Working. So it's okay, Yesenia. Yesenia, in that case, it's okay. In this 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 case, number one. In number one, what do you have? Okay. Gracias, number teacher. one. In number one. Uh, when do you write? Report about the production. Question number one. No, question number one. What? What? Uh, What do you work? What do you uh -huh. write? Report? Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero... Ricardo, repite. When do you write report? ¿Cuándo escribes el reporte uh -huh. sobre la producción? Porque la respuesta dice que... Escribe el reporte. Bueno, eh, escribe el reporte, reporte. Ah, sobre la producción viernes. cada viernes. Cada viernes. Ya, yeah, okay. si está bien. Ajá, uh -huh. está bien. Okay. Uh -huh. Una... Una pregunta con respecto a la tercera teacher, donde de la respuesta dice María y yo iniciamos el trabajo a las 10 pm. Yeah. Eh, para estructurar la oración, no sé si sería what time do we start working? No, what time María y yo start to work? No, in a, in a real context you say the names. En un contexto real usan los nombres mejor. You use the names. Los nombres. What time do Maria and ah, I okay. start working? Tal vez en la respuesta, en un contexto real, podríamos usar we. En la respuesta, en the answer, porque ya en la pregunta, 
Ya dijeron María and I. You said María and I. Más específico. Más específico. Exactly. For example, you can say in the question, what time do María and I start working? And you can say, we start working at 10 p.m., all right? Now the answer, ya en la respuesta. En un contexto real, en a real context. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What time María and I working? Entonces no es what time María and you start to work, sino que es what time do María and you? And remember, we have, these are questions, remember. Estas son preguntas en presente simple. Y aunque yes. estemos usando, aunque estemos usando what, where, what, siempre lleva el do o el das. All right? Um, yeah. Pero la respuesta no dice, no, no dice, no está en plural, ni está en el do. No dice María en a, do, uh, no sé. No, es como realiza la acción. No, because this, this is an open question, porque esta es una pregunta abierta. This is an open question, so I don't say yes, I do or no, I don't. Yo contesto con el verbo que me están preguntando. And, ¿Y cuál es el verbo que me están preguntando aquí? Start working, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, working. so you answer with Entonces, that es verb. Entonces, ING. Ajá, yeah. Ajá, ahorita no es ese tema, pero, pero porque está ahí ese verbo, start working. Pero sí, ahí lleva ING, después de start, llevan ese eh, ING los verbos. I start listening to music, I start studying English, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, number four. We design and others create the new okay. products. Entonces sería... Plan de producción. O podría ser solo how do you plan the product. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher and the number four. four. Number four, yes. Se puede escribir solo how do they do? No. You have to use the, the one of the verbs. Maybe you can say create. Um, because, because the answer is we design and others create a new product. So the question can be, how do you create the product? Ah, we design and others create the product. So the question is, how do you create a new product? Create, how do you create the new product? We work to talk about it because and the five now they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflow and outflow. What because because is a key word. Esa es la palabra clave para hacer la pregunta. Because we have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Because it mm, sería why exactly. There you go. Why why they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting exactly? Do they have? Yeah. When you finish, practice the questions and answers, okay, please. Thanks. All right. Okay. okay. 